It's time now for Local Latest in Local News. In the news, Jessup Firefighters busy Sunday morning as Jessup Fire Department received a call around 10 a.m. about an abandoned motel on fire near the intersection of the Savannah Highway and Anderson Drive. The motel had been abandoned for some time. Firefighters on the scene put the fire out. They state no injuries were reported. Again, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Glenn County Police are investigating an alleged bullying incident involving teenagers from Glenn Academy High School. They posted social media pictures and videos of the events that left the victim in critical condition and until recently on a ventilator. Press release from the Glenn County Board of Commissioners on Sunday states the criminal investigation is ongoing as they're gathering facts, interviewing students, gathering evidence, and other relevant information involved in this series of events. They're asking for anyone with information about the events to contact the Glenn County Police Department. They state you can call the silent witness line. That line is 912 Six four one three three three. Glenn County Captain Michael Robinson stated Sunday that this is still under investigation at this time. No arrests have been made as of Sunday afternoon. Police responded to the emergency room at Southeast Georgia Health System this past Tuesday at 9.45 p.m. to report an overdose and were told a family member there wanted to make a report about a hazing of the victim. The post on the Glenn County Citizens on Patrol Facebook page shows a photo of four boys, two of them who have their middle fingers raised while posing are all gathered around another boy who appears to be unconscious and covered with various items and substances. Victim was taped to a chair and possibly spray painted. Another photo shows a young man in a hospital bed on a ventilator. The post claims the boys posing bind an unresponsive boy to the chair, spray painted him from head to toe and urinated, urinated on him and more. Then they dropped him off at the each emergency room until yesterday was on a ventilator fighting for his life. One post included a video. Police state that they're piecing it all together, have not identified the victim or any of the other teenagers. The identity has been made public through a GoFundMe page for the victim. His name is Trenton Laircamp. His family has set up a page called Justice for Trent. Once again, police state that their investigation is ongoing at this time. They state arrest and charges will be forthcoming. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. In other news, legislative session winding down in Atlanta is Wednesday signing die day, which is the last day of the session. Once again, the gavel falls for a final time. Georgia legislators are done passing laws for the year. We've been fortunate once again this year to have our local delegation on the Butch and Bomb Show with State Senator Stephen Meeks on Mondays, State Senator Blake Tillery on Tuesdays, and State Representative Buddy DeLoach on Wednesdays. Chamber of Commerce has set the day for their post-legislative luncheon. That'll take place on Thursday, April 20th at the Coastal Pines Technical College from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Those three gentlemen will be in attendance and recap the session for those in attendance. Once again, if you'd like to attend the event, tickets are on sale now at the Chamber office. They're $25 for members, $35 for non-members. Simply call the Chamber of Commerce at 912-427-2028. Chamber also getting ready for their 14th annual Taste of Wayne. That's set for Thursday, April 13th at Coastal Pies Technical College from 6 to 10 p.m. Tickets for the event are $50 for Chamber members, $75 for non-members. Everyone is invited. The theme is a night at the races. Once again, the date, Thursday, April 13th at Coastal Pines Technical College. Once again, the number to call is 427-2028. Wayne County Board of Education is set to have their monthly board meeting tomorrow at 6 p.m. on the agenda under resolutions recognitions, good as gold recognition. Dr. Birch will recognize the good as gold recipients from Wayne County High School. Financial report on the agenda, East Bloss to be discussed. Also, budget discussions for fiscal year 24. COVID update, capital outlay project update, open middle school floor replacement bids will be taking place at the meeting. Again, also an executive session for personnel. All that's set for tomorrow at 6 p.m. at the Tech Center. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes and news, 6th Annual Appling County Law Enforcement First Responder Expo is set for April 5th at the Appling County Ag Center from 10 to 3. Lunch compliments at the Appling County Sheriff's Office. Appling County Sheriff Mark Melton joins us this Friday on the World Famous Butch and Bob Show to promote the event. Wayne County Board of Tourism getting ready for the Altamar River Run. Again, that's rescheduled for this Saturday. Again, they ask that you come enjoy the Altamar River Run. If you need more information, call the Wayne County Board of Tourism. Board of Tourism's number is 427-3233. Also, the Board of Tourism getting ready for their inaugural Jessup Porch Fest, a music festival held on the porches and lawns of historic homes and churches in the old neighborhood of Jessup, bordered by Brunswick Bay, Wayne, and Plum Streets. 
This event is set for April 22nd from 2 to 5 p.m. Local musicians will be, will be performing, allowing visitors to enjoy music from different venues, traveling by golf carts, bicycles, or on foot between the different host sites. Modeled after Porch Fest from around the country and more closely by Brunswick's event, this event will spotlight local talent as well as Jessup's local history. In its first year, the Porch Fest committee plans to feature 12 sites with 12 performances. A map with times, places, and designated parking areas will be available for visitors, and an information tent will be set up at the corner of Brunswick and Plum Streets adjacent to the First Baptist Church. Anyone interested in performing or if you need more information, contact Heather Altman at the Wayne County Board of Tourism Office. Once again, the number 912-427-3233. Or then come by the Jessup Train Depot. The Jessup Porch Fest again set for Saturday, April 22nd from 2 to 5 p.m. And the Wayne County Fair gets underway this week, Thursday, March 30th through Saturday, April the 8th. Again, the time 6 to 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 6 to 11. Admission $10 per person. Rides included in the price. Children under 32 inches ride for free. Again, this is taking place at the J.C. Fairgrounds. The 10-day fair again Thursday, March 30th through Saturday, April the 8th at the J.C. Fairgrounds. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, same a great day.